What's up NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. This time we're going to be checking out something that we checked out, well, a video that actually did very well. Mm. It was when we checked out the boot camp for what the US Marines go through. Yeah, that was really interesting. Since then, we've actually been contacted by a few Marines, and well, actually many Marines, telling us about their experiences in training camp. And because I remember Atlanta asked a question and said, "Are you guys allowed to laugh or have fun?" Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and so they said, "Yep, they're allowed to, as long as you're not doing it like in like a disrespectful way, like yep. while you're training and, and stuff like that." They said, "Actually, it's quite a good time. They yeah, have a good time." And so this video actually touches on uh, obviously once they've graduated it and they become full fledged Marines, uh, five reasons why no one can beat. The U.S. Marine Corps. Big call. Ooh, so Big call. yeah, we know that they're pretty tough. So let's check yeah. it out. The U.S. Marines' five most lethal weapons. It's a big gun. These guys are past the US training camp. The Marine Corps prides itself on being America's 911 force, a fire brigade that the president can call upon to fight the nation's battles in an emergency. Though the Marines have largely been treated as a de facto second land army over the past dozen years, the service is an integral component of the Department of the Navy and is primarily a maritime force. Therefore, the Marines, as a specialized amphibious force, argue that they need unique hardware to conduct their unique missions. While the service has many different types of weapons, here's a selection of their five key systems. Number one, Marine Riflemen. Exactly. Can't go past the soldier itself. Yeah. While not a weapon system in the traditional sense of the word, the Marine Corps warrior ethos and superb training make the service what it is. Every single Marine, from the lowest private to the commandant himself, is trained first and foremost as an infantryman. Even the Marines' naval aviators undergo nine months of infantry training as part of officer candidate school and the basic school before they go off to flight school. The shared experience of fighting alongside Marines on the ground gives the service a level of cohesion that the other branches lack. Ultimately, it is the Marine Corps' people that make it arguably the most effective branch of the armed forces. Number 2. M1A1 Abrams Whoa. While the Marine Corps the prides tank. itself on being a strategically mobile medium weight force, there are times when it needs the brute force of heavy armor. That brute force is provided by the General Dynamics M1A1 Abrams. While not quite as advanced as the US Army's M1A2 SCPV2, the Marine's M1A1 Firepower Enhancement Package suits the Marine's purposes of supporting the service's infantry. Whoa. See how far the turret comes the in? The Abrams yeah, is armed shoots. with a 120mm cannon and is protected with an armor matrix that incorporates depleted uranium armor. With a 1500 HP Honeywell gas turbine engine, it can move at more than 45 miles per hour. Wow. It's quite quick. Yeah. For a tank as well. Yeah, I usually like double the miles and then take Number a little bit three. off and I think I'm somewhere in the ballpark of kilometers. Viper. The Bell AH-1C Viper is an American twin-engine attack helicopter Whoa. based on the AH-1W Super Cobra that was developed for the United States Marine Corps as part of the H-1 upgrade program. The AH-1C features a four-blade, bearingless, composite main rotor system, upgraded transmission, and a Whoa, new target sighting system. Out. 
The AH-1Z is powered by a pair of 1800 SHP General Electric T700 turboshaft engines that is coupled with a new four-bladed composite rotor system that gives the helicopter exceptional agility. It carries a suite of advanced sensors, including a Lockheed Martin target sight system and can carry the Longbow radar system. Like the Army's AH-64E Apache, it can carry 16 Hellfire missiles, but also adds an air-to-air -air punch with its ability to fire AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Whoa. It just got rid of its missiles so fast. Far out. It's like two seconds. Number 4. Boeing AV-8B Harrier II They look like little <laughs> I think these are the ones that can do the, the vertical expeditionary take off. Units, their own organic fixed wing air support. For the Marines, who can't always afford ready access to heavy artillery, aircraft act as mobile fire support. Yeah, I think that's doing While the Harrier is not the best fighter or strike aircraft, until the Lockheed Martin F 35B Joint Strike Fighter becomes operational, it's the only short tank oh, yeah. vertical landing aircraft that can operate from amphibious so ships. To jet do that. The subsonic like... attack aircraft, though perhaps a compromise in many respects, is essential to the Marines' unique concept of operations. Harrier That's will be replaced insane. in favor of the Joint Strike Fighter over the coming years. The service hopes yeah. to retire Refuel. the venerable yeah. jet by 2025, reversing an earlier plan to keep the AV-8B in service past 2030. Instead, the Marines will keep their Boeing FA-18A BCD aircraft Whoa. until the F-35B <laughs> replaces those jets also. Number 5. Light Armored Vehicle Series As a highly mobile, medium-weight force, oh, the Marines wow. don't want to be weighed down by heavy armored vehicles. Whoa. However, Whoa. some mechanized forces are necessary. What is that on the, the top? Marines, yeah. <laughs> many of those needs are met by versions of the General Dynamics Light Armored Vehicle Series, LAV. A Marine Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion down. includes many variants of the LAV, including the LAV-25, like LAV-18, mm. LAV-L, LAV-M, LAV-Rs, and LAV-C2s, <laughs> which all have their individual functions, ranging from anti-tank and anti-air to command and control. Fast and agile, the most common LAV-25 is packed with a 25mm automatic cannon and a pair of 7.62mm machine guns. It can move at speeds exceeding 63 miles an hour. It'd be so cool to actually witness one of those training exercises. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty fast. Oh yeah, so you just made for click over top of like rough terrain. They must go through so much ammunition just in exercises I know. training. Oh, that's the tanks from earlier. The Abrams. Whoa, did you see the force on the trees? Mm -hmm. I feel like that if there was like a global conflict and New Zealand was in trouble, I feel like that the Marines would be the perfect force to have here to protect yeah. us. Because yeah. they're really good. Obviously, we're surrounded by water. Yeah. So they're like an amphibious unit. Yeah. And then also they're like they've got stuff for heavy hitters, but they've all, they can also move over rough terrain with their like quick vehicles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, with those LAVs. So I feel like yeah. the Marines would be perfectly suited for yeah, here. Yes. So if you could send some over, that'd be great. Yeah, if we could just borrow a few Marines. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you bring your equipment too. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna need all of your equipment and guns. <laughs> yeah, no, but that was awesome. Really enjoyed that. So that was cool. So five reasons why no one can beat the U.S. Marine Corps. Wow. It's pretty. Tough to argue with that yeah, after that's... seeing that, but I think there might be some others that we need to check out. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, let us know down in the comment section if there's some more stuff that we need to see. 
And also, if you like that one, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Check us out on Instagram. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And we love you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.